torque for the uh, printer. Uh, I just have a thank you letter. Pretty much just saying, hey, thanks for the order. You got your support, blah, blah, blah. That's nice of you to be there when I need you. Uh, you have your user manual. Uh, this right here is your warranty. Uh, I'm just gonna fill this out myself later on and send this bad boy in just to get my warranty, which I'm pretty sure this goes up to, yeah, one year warranty um, since they did the product purchase, which this was just purchased last week. So this is a little box that came with it. Okay, so here is the bed. Uh, here's the bed. Here's the, the entire printer, which is, this is a big bed, this is huge. I mean, I, I actually have a Mandalorian helmet. This is actually not 3D printed, this uh, helmet. This is a fiberglass helmet that was made back in like 2006. Uh, it was kind of like a one of a kind, the mold broke after it, but this is casted after a Don Post. Uh, 1995 helmet. Um, it's much wider on the sides, but anyway, besides that, this helmet is pretty big, and it fits on this bed, no problem. Like I can print this helmet out if I wanted to, in one shot. Uh, a lot of people are printing the uh, Mandalorian helmet from the, the TV series on this, which is actually smaller than than this helmet. Um, this one's maybe about. I think I. I it's got like an extra like half an inch, maybe an inch tops uh, wider than the uh, Mandalorian helmet from the show. So this is pretty big. So if I can put this on here, I can pretty much make anything I really want as far as helmets go. Iron Man helmet, this is a little tricky because you have to position it in a way that, you know, it can build. I mean, you can make this entire helmet if you really wanted to, but I'd rather not make this helmet on a bed like this uh, in one piece because the faceplate, I want to have this be detachable. Um, and also the back end, I want to have this part, bottom piece, lift up like I already have this one to kind of fit your, your head. This is a smaller helmet. This could have been sized up. I made this on my Ender 3 Pro. I think it came out pretty good. I mean, for first like big print, this was like six pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six pieces this came out with. And, and it came out pretty good, but I know I can do better on this printer now, so that's why I'm excited to get this, because I wanted a bigger uh, bed to do stuff like this, so. Yeah, I didn't realize how big this thing is. This is massive. I mean, this right here from, from my table up, it is, that is extraordinary. That is massive. So the height is 400 millimeters by 300 millimeters uh, bed size. So it, it's it's gonna be massive. Compared to my Ender 3, this is, this is massive. I mean, even if you kind of take a step back and kind of look, there's a big difference. All right, so we have the gantry on. Um, everything looks to be okay. There was just some screws that went underneath here, uh, two of them on each side. Fairly simple, it was nice and easy, and uh, let's keep going. I also noticed that they uh, gave us a spare uh, set of nozzles. That was nice of them. I uh, wasn't really expecting too much out of the box, but they really uh, gave us quite a bit. I mean, I got some wrenches over here, got a lot of Allen wrenches, which I definitely need more of those, but it's, I guess it's good to have. But yeah, um, pretty surprised about that. Thanks, Creality. Really quick, um, I was just opening up this little packet here um, of all the accessories and zip ties and stickers and everything. And I noticed they gave us a new set of uh, nose uh, clippers here, man. These are these are really nice. They're actually rubber as well, which they 
definitely beat my old ones in that box, but this they definitely beat my old ones here. Uh, I really do like these a lot. I am very impressed with Creality. I mean, these aren't just plastic uh, L brackets. They're they're actually metal. Like a lot of the stuff that they had on the previous, like for example, like the Ender threes and, and um, the plastic extruders and you know as stock. These here, like just simple simple parts like this, go a long way, especially when they're metal like this. Like I I think that's awesome. All right, so I was I was uh, installing these little L brackets here. They're supposed to go on the opposite side, like right here. However, they want you to put these um, little nuts here in the grooves here. However, I found a better way of doing it. If you just pop this little tab off here, that comes off, which just simply allows you to take these uh, nuts and just kind of glide them through. Trying to get it focused. Yeah, you just kind of glide it through here, which obviously I need two hands, but it's much, much easier doing it that way rather than doing it the way that they have it in the uh, uh, manual. So, yeah, it might save you about an extra three minutes, but definitely useful. As I was putting the Z switch on um, right here, I noticed that there was something else in this last bag here, and I just realized that it's actually, it's, it's another uh, Z switch. They give you a spare just in case, which I think is really cool. Okay, so here it is in all of its glory. It's, uh, it's pretty big, I must say. Sorry, you really can't see us too well, but uh, right now I have everything working. Um, this thing heats up really quick, which is actually fantastic um, compared to my Ender 3 Pro. But right now we're just gonna do our first, take in the filament, put it into the uh, filament sensor, which then goes down into the direct drive extruder, which is right here in that little hole there. And then we, uh, feed it in with the knob there and that baby should start spitting out on the bottom there okay so after uh, about maybe 10 15 minutes of trying to level this thing it's uh, printing Had a little bit of a glob for the uh, test mark on the left side there but that was just because I was doing some um, extra extruding but yeah everything is looking good so far just doing a quick test only going to take about 17 minutes um how good this one's coming out like this and it's so quiet extremely quiet the only noise you'll probably hear is the one from my ender 3 which is behind me but this all you hear is the fans i mean yeah like you don't you don't hear much of anything which is amazing like this i, I didn't realize it was going to be this quiet but i am very pleased with this And you'd see the uh, <clears throat> extruder, or the, I'm sorry, the filament sensors there. I tested that, actually. I cut a little piece off to pretend it was, like, running out of filament. And it did work. It beeped like crazy. Um, this actually paused, and it told you what was the issue uh, with the filament. But, yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this. We'll check back in about, uh, about 15 minutes and see how she's going. messed up on something just realize it um, I have a cure profile for my Ender 3 Pro and I didn't realize this was 
the profile set up so when I sliced everything and threw it on the bigger bed uh, it's only doing like half the bed almost and it's still a test but I wanted to kind of get all the corners of the, the new V3 I'll show you uh, the print is more towards the left and not in the center where it should be but I can tell already that it's 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 toned pretty good I mean look at that okay so here is the final print um, I mean it came out like your typical test print it's this not really good next I will can I help you hold on <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, this, this, I wish it went the whole bed. I mean, I still have about maybe three inches on the right side here that it could have uh, tested, but for the most part, it came out really good. I'm very pleased with this. And it only took a whole 20 minutes, 20 minutes, five seconds. Thanks guys for watching. This is just a really quick review of my new CR10 V3 printer. Uh, so far, so good. I really am enjoying it, and it's got such a big bed compared to my Ender 3 Pro. So I hope to do a lot more bigger things with this one. Um, for example, like bigger helmets all in one shot. Maybe I can do like a Mandalorian, Iron Man, whatever, uh, in one sitting rather than doing up in pieces um, just to make it more quicker uh, than the Ender 3. But so far, I, I'm really enjoying it. I will have more updates in the future. I am going to probably start off by doing something like maybe like Mandalorian or I've been looking at uh, Red Hoods uh, from Batman. So yeah, so just check back. Um, I will be putting out some more videos in the future and in the meantime, thanks for watching So here is a finished uh, Red Hood helmet that came off the CR10 V3 This is a two-piece part. You have the back piece Which on the bottom there holds the top piece all together there um, I think this came out really good This was a four-day print and this can be found on Thingiverse so I am very pleased with the uh, result. This was all uh, one shot. Like, this entire piece was four days. And the small piece in the back here, uh, that was only like 12 hours, 13 hours, if that. Uh, again, this is hot mm -hmm. off the press. So there's some cleanup I have to do. This is where the raft was. Um, I already have ideas on how to take that off. I'm just going to use my orbital sander uh, don't let it get too hot but just get enough of this excess plastic off and then eventually I'll put some putty uh, glazing putty inside these little layer lines if I can't get them down too much and we'll just sand again and go from there but all in all this was a very good uh, first print big print on the CR10 V3 I definitely recommend getting this printer uh, you can print stuff up this high. It's basically about close to 16 inches tall. That's exactly how I printed this helmet was standing up this way. Less supports. And it came out great. So again, yeah, I really like this printer. Two thumbs up.